Hey friend, welcome back. Today I'm going to do a flip through of my first ever junk journal, okay? <laughs> I made this using some um, paper grocery bags. If you've been here for a minute, then you know that I've been really having fun making things out of paper grocery bags. I also used um, some fabric that I think I got from Tuesday morning. It might've been on clearance. In hindsight, I think it's probably like a nursery themed, um, like a baby themed, but I think it's cute. I just like, I like the colors, so I went with it. And then I also did um, some binding on my own. And I kind of regret the binding, not necessarily, for, for two reasons. I didn't even do the fourth insert, BT dubs. Um, so this is very much a prototype, very much an imperfect uh, situation, but I'm really enjoying the experience. So, you know, hear me out. In any case, I regret doing the binding because I think I would have liked to work in the inserts on as flat a surface as possible. And as you can see, she's already getting chubby. And not that I don't love that, but it makes it difficult for me to work on it when there's like an incline. Um, I used my sewing machine and you can see that I used two different kinds of thread, probably because I ran out of one color and switched to the other one, but also who knows, I don't remember. Um, I used a, like a Fabri-Tac to just attach the fabric, but then I also sewed it just to make sure that it was secure because I have trust issues with glue. But um, I also sewed in this ribbon. I typically wear like black, gray, you know, like colors like that, white. So it was very unusual for me to have like pink, but I do tend to make a lot of things that have pink, but who knows, that might change. I, my paper crafting might turn into black and white as well, who knows. All right, so let's get in. Um, so the first thing that we have here is I just did like a little side pocket and then I put a pencil board in here. This pencil board wasn't made for this journal. It just happens to be one that I had and um, it's also would function if I need to watercolor and I need to mix colors, it would function for that as well. But it's here in case I have some rough spots that need a smooth backing for me to write. Um, I added three inserts. So this is one, two, and three. All right, so the first insert's got these cute little butterflies, and then I just did like this cluster, um, whatever. I put some ribbon, just some paper scraps, and uh, remember the now, which I feel like that's fitting for the situation. In here, I've got one of my Polaroid style journaling cards, and I just decided to stick it and then um, make it into a pocket. So that pocket is doing that. I love Miss Denim. So I've got um, just some journaling pages. I'm working in this journal currently, so you're gonna see a lot of blank spots that are still full of opportunity to be added things. So um, you'll notice that. So then I just made a little pocket and another butterfly pocket with some fabric. If you've watched my one of my more recent videos, like 20 um, pen pal and junk journaling ideas, then you'll have seen tags like this. I also want to um, let you know that like in the vein of like this junk journal thing, I'm not perfectly coordinating anything. There will actually be like junk-like objects in here. Like some people might consider this as junk, right? So um, that's true to like the junk journaling name, but then there will also be like beautiful papers from, you know, paper collections and stuff. Um, this is a ticket from an excursion that we did with the family. And I added some pages of my son's drawings. And this is kind of like one of my favorite things. And I think I will continue to do that. If you have kids, then you know that um, they're always drawing on something, and but they're not always wanting to keep it. It's not always in a notebook. But now I've got a new use for them and they will be able to be either standalone pages or it might be a background page. If I had maybe like a picture, of my kiddo or something like that could be the background that frames that photo of my kid person who drew it so actually i feel like i just came up with an idea on the spot and that's what i'm gonna do but not today um i've got some journaling space here i just want to journal about my love of bubble yum and blowing bubbles i'm 45 and i still thoroughly enjoy doing that in here, I've made a tuck spot using another one of my Polaroid journaling cards. So, so really loved 
the way that it offered this tuck spot and it just looks nice it looks like a little piece of art and then this is this um double-sided uh project life card and i just put two project life cards together and just sewed it so that um i could have this ribbon be like that pull tab i have plenty of journaling space here so whatever journaling space i stole from the polaroid i'm making up for it right here um, this again is also in that video with the 20 ideas for pen pals and junk journals here I created a belly band using this ephemera that I made and inside is a, a notebook for, and this cover is from fabric that I got at Dollar Tree and I just embossed this um, page and this is also paper bag this page and embossed it and now it looks more special on the other side i kind of made this little flap so that i could add whatever i wanted to put i have this cute little i don't know what i'm calling this i don't know if it's a tip in or whatever but i just stapled in this ephemera that i made with a, a quote from sir buddha i don't know if he's a sir but i just called him sir buddha and here i've already started to do um some journaling I just thought this was nice, facing anxiety and finding strength. Um, and then just a little bit of journaling, my thoughts on anxiety. Um, and then here you have like your first, is it your first like uh, example of my use of junk mail? And it's just basically like an envelope that usually comes with coupons and stuff inside. And so I folded it in half. So there's one on this side and on the other side, but then I just cut this diagonal so that I can use that pocket. And in the pocket, I've got um, extra paper and a little bit more ephemera if I need some more journaling spots down the line. And then I attached this journaling card that I had um, from the beginning of the pandemic, May 2020. I wrote this and I found it, so I just decided to put that in there. So it's like we've got like this cool flip out and then we have a pocket. Here I tipped in this um, pink Starburst. Um, everyone knows that the pink ones are the best ones, obviously. Um, and I just found an all pink um, thingajig and so I wanted to keep it. And so I just put, tipped that in there. And then in here we have just like this little paper clip that I like you know, altered very slightly by just tying a, a janky piece of ribbon. Um, and then I've got this uh, journaling card that I made using some paper bag scraps. So I made it into a pocket. And so there's a little bit of ephemera in there, some more journaling spots in there, and then journaling on the back. I used my sewing machine to attach it. And then this is just some ephemera that I used with some old book pages. I just drew on it and cut it out in the end. Skittles, um, there's a lot of candy being shown here. Don't worry, we actually eat real food. But Skittles is the one candy that my son likes and um, he has a lot of allergies. So it's one of the few candies that are like easy for us to find that we don't have to worry about. Um, so I just wanted to keep that because it's his favorite and um, some journaling, put a little journaling card here. Here's a little joke from my son. What do you call a fly without wings? It's called a walk. Okay, get it? A fly, a walk. Okay. Um, so I'm just putting that in there in my little Skittles bag and then a little bit of journaling here. I'm pretty proud of myself and how I um, put it all together for like a first timer. Here is, this is a, a stamp, um, I forget her name right now, I'll put it in the caption, but it's a stamp and you know, whenever I'm up to it, I might decide to color it or journal around it, who knows. And then we've got some paper. Here is just me like lettering some motivation for myself and just cutting it out of book pages. That also is open for me to color or add more interest to it at a later date if I feel like it or not. Here is another pocket. Um, it's another um, pocket sewn out of book pages. And so we have room in here for more stuff. Um, and then these two pockets, I just decided to put like two of my favorite teas. Um, uh, what's missing here is the rooibos. Um, I just opened the new box that my friend Lindsay sent me. Here is another magazine journaling card. One of my favorite things to make journaling cards out of. I always get a good feeling 
in my soul whenever I buy a magazine because it just reminds me that my mom bought me my first magazine ever. And I've been in love with magazines, fashion, photography, models ever since. So here I've just added um, some journaling. And in the back of it, I just had drawn this out of some pattern paper and then I just stuck her here. And it says, not everything you think is true. Some of it is bullshit. <laughs> Give yourself grace. All right, so we've got on the other side of that pocket from the junk mail, if you remember. And then I've just got like some notes. I invited some ladies over to my house and we created vision boards together and it was so fun. And so those were just my bullet points of things that I wanted to remember to share with them and so that we could include it. Here, I have a postcard from the Bisa Butler Art Exhibit. This talented human creates art with quilts. These are quilts, like I just can't even, just that's all I can say. Um, anyway, and I created this tuck spot with this, um, I know, another Polaroid, you know, journaling card. If, if you know, you know, I, I like a Polaroid, okay? Um, so yeah, so that's there with my um, reminders and there's plenty of journaling space in the back and it's fabulous. This is um, a little envelope that I made using a printable from Amity Bloom. And um, she has gorgeous papers that um, she creates that are like inspired by vintage wallpapers and stuff like that. So you should check her out. It's, it's beautiful stuff and she's really sweet and she has a channel and I find her channel to be the most relaxing and also very inspiring. I decided to print on vellum just to see what it would be like and it's really nice so I can insert things there if I want. Here's another embossed page um, from a paper bag. Loving the texture, plenty of space to do whatever there. And here I have a pocket that I created using scraps. You may have seen this video as well. Um, and I've got just some fun bits in there. This, I, I'm really loving making ephemera using packaging. So this is kind of like what could be a memory dex card, but I use one of those hot cocoa things. And um, it could also be plenty of journaling. So who knows what I'll end up doing here, but you know, stay tuned and I'll try to film it whenever I mess around with this, but I just love it. I love how sturdy they are. It's just fantastic. Then I have just another little journaling spot that I um, created using some paper scraps that I had after I made some journals and um, I just sewed it to bind it. And then I have this little cute piece of ephemera that I made with just some of my favorite um, music that I've been listening to this year. So that lives happily there. There's space for me to do something here. This cute portrait um, I've had for a while and I've been wanting to find a safe space for it for a while. My husband drew this. One day I was complaining about how hard portraits are and he was like, what, it's easy. And I was like, okay, draw something in 10 minutes. And the guy freaking did. He drew our son and I swear this looks like my kid. If you know my kid, you know that the essence and his spirit is here. <laughs> and I was so mad. So um, I just put it here with a little bit of journaling about how salty that made me. But he's so talented, it's kind of annoying. Um, oh, and fun fact, so this is a, the same dye that I used to make this is I just kept it for this. Cause now I could have just cut this and it would have definitely been very much Polaroid giving but I also think it's kind of quirky and fun to leave it. So I left it. All right, over here, I've got this that I'm still working on. My husband had a meeting in New Orleans, a conference, and he was gone for a week. And all I got was a mufalada sandwich. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, I never had a mufalada sandwich and apparently it's all the rage and it's the thing to eat when you go to New Orleans. So he brought me one and it tasted delicious. Um, and so I just want to keep it because that was really nice for him to lug a whole entire sandwich over. Here's that other side of the page from my son's drawings. Here I've got a belly band with a journaling card that was gifted to me uh, during a swap that I did. And it was probably some of the most beautiful mail that I've ever received. Everything was as detailed and gorgeous as what you see here and so i just wanted to keep one in here so that whenever i'm in this journal i get to look at this beauty here i um tipped in a an old book page that i had stamped some birds on and i decided rather than gluing it i would just let them 
fly, I guess. <laughs> and so then I just um, wrote uh, something around the birds. It didn't line up really well. I should have taped it before I wrote it, but you know, you live and you learn. Um, I used a brad, but I love it because I was able to add this piece of scrap and it just gives it this like little movement, which is really fun. But most importantly, you can have like some private journaling there if you wanted to. Um, so I love it. And I just, you know, put a little like quick thought that I had in my mind because it looks like she's thinking, right? So, you know. Um, so now we're on to the next uh, insert, the second one. And here I've got like some junk mail. I think I'm gonna like decorate this further, but I just wanted to put it in just to have it in my mind. A lot of the things that you'll see in this junk journal are things that I've been making for the first time and I wanna have a place for them to live. So when I'm needing inspiration, I could go through these journals and be like, oh yeah, let me make some of those again. Um, so a lot of the things that you'll see here are just like prototypes of stuff. So this envelope is a prototype of the thought of using junk mail envelopes um, in projects because you get the fun little window. That's not an idea that I'm inventing. Um, plenty of people do this in the junk journaling world. I am just like new to the game, okay? Um, this is what looks like an envelope, right? But it's actually just a journaling spot. Um, and then I just um, rounded the corners so it could give it that envelope look. This is an idea that I got from Natasha um, over at Treasure Books. And um, if you like junk journaling, Natasha is definitely one to follow. Um, but um, these little drop down envelope looking like things are very much an idea that I got from her. Here is one of my favorite journaling cards that I've made recently. And um, I shared in that 20 ideas video. And I'm looking forward to adding something to the back. But um, for now, it's living in here. And so for this, the envelope, I just glued the sides to make like that tuck spot. Over here, we have another journaling card, which I made, I think, during the summer. And then tucked in there, I've got a Project Life card that I didn't love. So I sewed some fabric on top of it to give it a new vibe and a new texture. And I really like it. So that's in there. Here I'm just using a regular envelope that I get from Dollar Tree. Inside I've got some um, ephemera that I've already kind of started. And then here is some loose leaf paper that I just randomly painted with watercolor just to give it um, that um, crunchy and just give it more interest. Here's another journaling card that I've made and we've got some journaling space in the back um, using an index card and it's being held here by this paper clip that I altered by just adding a couple of beads to the top. It's super easy. Just take some seed beads and slide them in and you've altered a paper clip. It can actually fit five but I typically do three and then like you can play around with this. It becomes a fidget. On this side I've got one of my first Polaroids that I made and I believe this is the Polaroid that started the Polaroid obsession. Also here I've used an envelope that I made myself and I actually didn't close it. I can journal inside the envelope before I close it. It's a really cool way to have um, some more hidden journaling space leave envelopes open, journal inside, and then glue them shut. Also, once it's glued, I'll have more room to put more stuff. Here's a page from an old children's book. I think it was like, yep, three little pigs. This is construction paper. I just wanted to add different kinds of paper so that I could have different textures to write on. So here's more of that watercolor paper. Here is, I think this is um, vintage paper that I got from Etsy, vintage-like paper. More regular paper. And this is part of a project that I will be sharing soon, so I won't show you the inside of it, but you're getting a sneak peek of the outside. I'll just let you know that this is made from a paper bag and um, there is stuff inside, but that video is coming soon, so stay tuned. And here is just, I had a scrap and I was wondering if it would be cool to like embroider on a piece of scrap paper. It looks really cool and it feels really nice. More um, loose leaf paper, more construction paper. Here is another um, drop down, but it's more like in a coin envelope shape. 
and I just uh, added a button to this paper clip just to add some interest to it. But yeah, this is just like another drop down journaling spot, super simple. And um, this button keeps it in place. And then on this side, ooh, I guess that paper clip is holding up more things. On this side, we've got this cute little journaling card that you might have seen in a previous video. I love this so much. I love how they turned out so cute. Um, and then here I've got a Project Life card that is functioning as a side um, loading pocket. Another Polaroid journaling card. No one is surprised. I just tipped it in and that allows me to journal in the back. Here's that envelope more loosely. This is a fun one. I had gotten my son some animal cards because he loves all things animals, um, but he wasn't really like too into it. So I kind of just took it for myself then. And I've added this, um, they're just postcards about animals and there's all sorts of different animals and me and the sloth go way back because we like to take it slow. We like to rest. Um, but when we have fun, we have fun, right? Apparently, the sloth is a fast swimmer. So I feel like it's so very much me. I like to slow down, but when I'm having fun, like I'll be out there. <laughs> okay. Um, so I just um, um, did this thing and punched a hole. I forget what you call this. Um, and then added one of my paper tassels. So it just gives it a little dangly feature, some interest, but there's definitely journaling space. Um, and he's just chilling. So that was the other side of that envelope, by the way, and it's an option to just open it here if I want more envelope space, but I decided to keep it closed at least for now. Here's one of my index cards that I created an envelope out of. So you get like the envelope feature, but you also get the journaling space. Here's another index journaling spot um, using this um, fabric version where I just put some fabric on the top to kind of give it like a binder look if you will or like a clipboard um, feel to it but with fabric and sewing and plenty of journaling space. Here is a card that my friend Lindsay sent to me. Um, she painted and hand lettered this um, quote from a letter that I wrote to her. It's basically the blessing that my grandmother used to always say to me. It translates to may God guide, favor, and accompany you. And so that's the blessing that my grandmother would always say to me. And now that my grandmother has passed away, it becomes even more meaningful and valuable. And uh, I'm so grateful that she took the time to do that. So. Here we have uh, one of my Project Life um, altered paperclip journaling card thingajigs. I don't know what to call it, but you can journal, you can clip things, and, um, and you're using your Project Life. I've got a postcard of New York because obviously. And another one of those um, envelope tuck spots. Here is another example of using junk. This is just, um, this is a perfume insert from the magazines and I'm, I'm not saying no one else has done it. I'm saying I haven't seen it and I'm pretty sure it's pretty freaking genius to use the perfume um, pages from magazines in your junk journal so that your junk journal smells pretty. Hello? Um, this is a hidden paper clip uh, that I created using paper scraps. And so that is what's keeping this on this page. Let's put that there. And so, yeah, friend, look. Oh, this is, a, this is a Christmas card that Lindsay sent me of her rescued pet chinchilla. Look how sweet. So that has to live there. But guys, so all I did was glue the side of the perfume spot. So this is the perfume spot here. So yes, my journal smells like La Vie est Belle. And it is a tuck spot. So cutie chinchilla is in the loveliest smelling section of my journal so i just love how that pocket came from something so unexpected journaling journaling i just decided to stick two of my favorite journaling cards here just because they're fun to look at um and then this is more paper bag so i think this is an insert yeah this is just another paper bag and then i open the sides 
and it's got um, some stuff inside, some ephemera. So I've got like this little um, folio and then I've got an envelope with um, paper clips and stuff to use. Um, some more paper, another page from that book. The wolf seems really hungry. Um, this is from a postcard that a friend sent me and it was just too adorable to not use it somewhere else. So I think I'm planning on sticking it here. I think it was my friend Andy that sent this to me and it was just the sweetest, um, most adorable card and it just needed to live somewhere. Then the other side of that bag has a pocket as well. Here's another journaling card that I made. This one I stacked um, Project Life on top of a large index card and then sewed a bunch of ephemera onto it as well. It's really textured and I love it. Here's a, a very simply altered paper clip, just tying some string on it. More journaling spots. Here is one of my um, plastic covered pockets. And it technically has three pockets because you've got the front, the back, and in between the pages. And it's on the other side of that perfume um, tuck spot. Journaling pages. And we've reached the end, friend. Ah, this is Amity Bloom paper. Um, and then on the end, we've got just a regular um, cut apart journaling card from an old paper pad an envelope that i think my friend one of my pen pals sent it to me it might have been ada i don't know this doesn't seem like her style though could have been her old style though styles change um so an envelope and then one of my favorite things that i've made and shared in my other video which is what i'm loosely calling the junk specimen windows um or specimen cards if you've seen specimen cards um i feel like that's like a trendy thing for people to use in their junk journals and often people put like dried flowers in there or i don't know pictures of important things that you would want a specimen of but i wanted to go completely sideways and just put junk in there and i feel like it just makes sense it's a junk journal you need a junk specimen window um, and I'm playing around with other things to create specimen windows for, um, or specimen cards, whatever you're supposed to call them. Uh, there's still room for my fourth insert. I don't know if it's going to happen though, because it's so chubby. So again, I think next time I will not sew the inserts in. Um, I think I might just want to do like a rubber band option so that I can just like take them in and out as needed. So you know how you tie the binding? You know, when you tie the string that you use to bind it, rather than um, cut it or just leave it loose, I added charms to them because why not? So you could do short charms and it could just stay inside as like a fun surprise when you turn the page, but I thought that that might be an issue for writing. So I just let them be long and now they just dangle on the top and the bottom. So the, wherever you tie your knot, put charms there and then top and bottom. So I think I put six of them. Here is the other two, two more charms. And then the last insert, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, the last insert has two charms as well. So yeah, oh no, I, this one fell out. I have to attach that. All right, guys, I hope you like this flip through of my first official um, junk journal. And I think that going forward, I will maybe film uh, myself just playing in here and trying to um, add more to the pages and see how far it goes and maybe have a final flip through where I'm not chatting, where I'm just flipping because like you get the point, right? You understand the vibes. Um, let me know what you think about this. Um, let me know if you also have been or are planning on starting to junk journal. If you made it this far in this video, you're the real MVP because I know I went on and on, but it's my first time and I'm excited about this. And I thank you so much for watching. Thank you for being here. If you haven't already subscribed, please consider doing so. Don't forget to like this video as it helps my um, content reach other people and share this with anybody that you think would love it. I will see you next time, guys. Bye.
I love magazines just for the sake of loving them. My mom bought me my first Vogue magazine when I was 14. It happened to be the September issue. And because of that, every year I must get the September issue. It doesn't matter who's on the cover. It doesn't matter if they're robbing me by not including nearly enough pages. The last few years of the Vogue September issue have been like so skinny, it's like offensive. 